So the Florida State Supreme Court is expected to announce today it will allow a constitutional amendment codifying abortion until 24 weeks to be voted on by Floridians this November. Republican Governor Ron DeSantis, who backs a strict abortion ban, has appointed five of the current justices on the seven-seat bench. Joining us live from Miami, NBC News correspondent Marissa Para. Marissa, what's the latest? Hey, Mika, I'll start first with uh, expected being the key word here. We had expected to hear about this last Thursday. There's an April 1st midnight deadline, and they normally, the Florida Supreme Court normally releases their opinions, their decisions on Thursday, and in a very rare move that surprised everyone, they instead said they were not releasing a decision or opinion, saying later that they would do so out of calendar opinions today at 4 p.m. So it remains to be seen what exactly we're going to find out this evening. But what we're tracking and what many Floridian voters are waiting to find out is whether or not abortion will be on the November ballot. Not just because it would have a significant impact, of course, on the legality of abortion in Florida, but it would also have an impact politically. So one of the races that is showing signs of becoming increasingly more competitive is the Senate race currently challenging Senator and Republican Rick Scott for his seat. We have the Democratic challenger, Debbie McCursell Powell. We actually had a chance to speak with her and asked her how important she thinks abortion will be to Floridian voters this year. November. I think that millions of Floridians, regardless of, regardless of party, we know that this is not a partisan issue, are going to come out to the ballot box and make sure that they protect their right to choose and their freedom. And remember, Floridian Democrats uh, have had a problem with voter turnout for some time. And Democrats are really struggling and fighting to keep Florida purple. So there's the political impact. But quickly, I really want to explain the legal impact of deciding whether or not abortion will be on the ballot. Because there is a separate Supreme Court decision we are waiting for in Florida that decides whether or not the current 15-week abortion ban is constitutional. And if they separately decide so, that would trigger a 30-day, uh, it would Rather, it would trigger a six-week abortion ban 30 days later. So it is entirely possible that we could see a six-week abortion ban in Florida that if today we learn abortion could be on the November ballot, 60% or more voters, if they decide to pass this, we could see a six-week abortion ban overturned by voters in November. But if and only if the Florida Supreme Court decides abortion can be on the ballot in November. So it remains to be seen what's going to happen here, Mika, but there's a lot on the line. Absolutely. NBC's Marissa Parra live in Miami. Thank you very much for that report. Caddy Kay, your thoughts, uh, especially as we're looking at the presidential election. I feel like democracy is on the ballot, um, but women's health rights, women's health care, it, it's pretty far up there on the list. Yeah, I mean, what's so interesting about states that vote on the issue of abortion, you can have red states voting to um, make sure that women still have access to abortion. We've seen it happen in Kansas. We've seen it happen in Ohio. We've seen it happen in Kentucky. And it's interesting that this is now taking place in Florida. Obviously, Democrats would love for the Florida to be a purple state again. It doesn't look like it's going to be a swing state in the November election. But by raising the issue of abortion for Florida's women, and we know that Hispanic women have abortions at higher rates than white women, and there are a lot of Hispanic women in South Florida, is there the possibility that it puts Florida back on the map? Or is there any way the possibility that you have a red state effectively voting to enshrine abortion rights for women in November? Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.